time now for a look at your health. Our topic tonight, a skin disease that's hard to diagnose but can lead to serious health problems like organ failure or even death. Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD is here as he is every Tuesday to talk about scleroderma. Thank you for being here. And this is an aware, awareness month for this particular skin disease. So tell us what it is. We've all kind of heard of it. Yes. But it sounds like it's much more serious than yeah. I think most of us are led to believe. It does. Scleroderma comes from the word sclera, which is hard and derma skin and so usually what happens is patients will notice that their skin is hard and it could be skin around the abdomen mm -hmm. even in the face even on the forehead uh, we just had a patient the other day that had a, a what's called a coup de sabre it's almost like a, a sword mark down the forehead but what ends up happening is that sometimes it can progress to the systemic which means that your kidneys can be affected blood vessels can be affected heart can be affected stomach and esophagus can be affected so it can pose a lot of problems so basically it is an autoimmune disease and let's talk about systemic versus um, localized because there's generally two different kinds of scleroderma this is an example of systemic what am i looking at well you're looking at a uh, portion of the skin and what you see is lots of little blood vessels and that's one of the clues that your dermatologist can figure out. The diagnosis is made on biopsy and then there are a series of blood tests and if we find that it is systemic which means it's going throughout the body mm -hmm. then we can treat it with immunosuppressive agents um, and we usually refer to a rheumatologist. So then what does localized look like? The localized we have a picture of it it can be just like like here like you see these patches mm -hmm. and it, it could be like a a bruise and you don't know what or like a, a major league hickey but it but the thing is the skin is very hard and so that's the clue now sometimes it can be brought on by an infection and so there's your dermatologist may try an antibiotic mm -hmm. but usually the diagnosis is made by biopsy now the localized form can come and go so you can actually grow out of it Scleroderma is more common in women, four times as common in women as men, and the localized form is more common in children. So we mm. actually see it in children as well, but fortunately the, it, the children will usually grow out of it. And does it present itself the same in children, those hard sort of it blotches? Re it really does. It, it, when, you, when you have it, you sort of know it. It's not like a guess. You know okay. that something's definitely wrong with your skin. But absolutely, if it happens, you go see your dermatologist who can make the proper diagnosis. Now the really good news is localized doesn't spread and become systemic so it's either one or the other all right well some very uh, important advice thank you so much we're all thinking about our skin as we're showing more of it so we'll talk about more skin later on next week sounds good let's uh, send it over to Jen for what's to come all right Kathleen Dr. G thank you